morning, everybody. Here we are. You need a backpack and a chair that I got over here in the corner uh, for at least a couple exercises. Hope everybody's doing well on this Tuesday. Got a little alternative music on today. Trying to wake me up on this rainy Saturday morning. <laughs> this is home of the grudge, right? All right, let's rock and roll. We'll start with a little warm up. Um, about five minutes or so of that. I've got three different series of uh, four movements. So that'll be uh, two rounds through each one of those and a couple hits in the middle. So we'll get up and running. Try and continue with the body weight stuff. Even though the gyms are now open, um, we encourage you to get back in the clubs if you can. Uh, Madison Athletic Club and is a quad fitness. Come see John and I for a session. All right, let's rock and roll. Go for a little rotation. So lock those hips in, turn and rotate. Big swing, loosen up that spine, big rotation. Couple more. Nice. You bring that opposite knee up. Wake us up this morning. Now legs will be nice and wide. As I'm in that wide stance, I'm just gonna lean to the side to get my glutes to go back. Try and get these adductors loosened up. Big reach. Three or four times each side. One more. Hands behind, lock those joints out with the elbow, lean backwards. Little twist, come back up, shake that out one more time. Lock those elbows out, pull them away from the glutes, sink down into it, little rotation. Oh, that felt good, a little tight. Big swings. Couple times each direction. Spin back. Switch sides. Switch directions. And on the ground. On the ground, we're going to be bending the opposite elbow, uh, which you'll see here, and that'll enable me to turn and twist through. And then I get that big rotation. So this loosens up that thoracic spine. So we're going to be here, left elbow for me bends, see me tuck that right shoulder all the way to the ground, big reach through my lower back, and now I turn and rotate a couple more times each side. Switching sides, bend that right elbow, get your shoulder down, rotate up and through. Loosen up that core. Pop up, roll through, hands up underneath. You can take those legs, slow fall, and then open up. There we go, slow fall, open up. Two more. Sinking all the way down, I'm going to reach to one side, reach to the other, get those obliques to loosen. Last one. Good. Alright, let's get ourselves rolling. 
Right out of the gates, we're going to go into a plank with some knee drives. Let's go inside and outside. So that way you get those hips to rotate, wake up that core. Uh, you know I love planks, but if you can get some movement in them, it's much better. So we'll start here. In that plank. Let's do five on each side. So we'll be here. Turn and drive through, and then out. That's one. Turn and drive through. Out. There's two. Three. Four. And five. Switching sides. Turn and drive through. Then out. That's two. Three. Four. And five. Great work. All right. How are we feeling? Good? Everybody awake? Everybody else on here? Three eyeballs. Okay, I'm going to step out. So we've got ten on each side. Here we go. Step out. Pop up. Get those lateral movements in. It's critical. Nice job. Big pop. Get those ten in. One more. All right. Step to my side. Launch back up. Make sure you're falling away. Lock out that leg. One more. Nice. Now we're doing little skydivers. Remember you're tucking there, so you're getting that squeeze between those scapulas, your shoulder blades. Also remember to bend that knee up so you get that hamstring to fire more. Grab a quick drink. Need my morning Joe. Here we go, bend those knees up. So as I drive, my quads come up off the ground, doing 10 of these. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Halfway there. There's 10. Nice work. Okay, here we go, a little push up. Uh, this time we're gonna have a little hand release. So after you're done with your push up, that hand comes out to the front. So we're doing 10 total push ups, five hand releases. Here we go. Push. Hand goes out front. That's two. One more. There we go. Those are our four. Now we're going to go back through. Get that knee drive as you're cranking again. Everybody awake? How's the music? We liking this old school alternative? I oh, know, I like a little bit more mellow on a cloudy day. But this is a hit class. Gonna get you up and running. <laughs> All right, here we go with this plank with a knee drive. Back in that plank, then we're gonna go in and then out, five on each side. Here we go. Inside, outside is one. Two, three, four, and five. Switching sides. One, two, three, four. We got ten on each side. Here we go. Stepping out. We're gonna pop up. Going to 10, halfway there. All 
Last one. Good job. Switch the sides. Step out. Pop up. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Give it a little 30 seconds off. Remember that everything we do, little movements like that little pop in there, builds bone density as you land, keeps those bones nice and strong. Plus, every time you jump in the air, you're telling your body, keep those muscles strong. Keep that testosterone high. Back into our skydivers. 10 of those total, bend that knee, get that hamstring to fire. Here we go. Pull all the way through like I'm flying through the air and down. 10 of these. Up. And down. One more. Nice job. Just gonna stay down here because I'm going right into those push ups. Push ups with a hand release, and remember that hand's gonna come out front. So, first we kick through the push up, then we bring the hand out. Ten total push ups, five on each side for the hands. If you need to, just stay in a plank if your chest tired. Here we go. Push, get that hand out. seconds off and give you a little seal jacks. Nice, congratulations. Crush it. Celebration workout, I like that. It's important to bring on new uh, tasks right now with all this uncertainty, right? Have big goals, knock them down. Okay, seal jacks. Our feet are doing forward, backwards. Why our hands are going inside, outside, inside, outside. And you can switch them up and down every time. That's a little cognitive test that those Navy SEALs do. So, feet are going to be here, 30 seconds, starting right now. Get the bottom half going, bring in that top. 30 seconds. You'll see those on our workouts on YouTube, as well as Instagram. Three seconds. Nice. You're all frogmen now. Okay, grab a chair. I need that little puppy there. If you don't have a chair, use a couch. I'm gonna kick my little uh, chair here. Make sure that's still in view. Yes, it is. My heel's gonna be on top. I'm gonna be lying flat. We're gonna bridge off the bottom while you get that hamstring to drive down. Remember, if the chair or the item's pushing away from you, you're using your quad. You want to be hooking as you pull down to your hamstring. So 10 on each side. Get up close to 90 degrees. The closer you are to the chair or the couch, the more glute you're using. Just in case uh, you ladies want to get the glutes code. Otherwise, the farther you are away, the more hamstring you are. Here we go, single foot in the air. We got 10 on each side. Drive up. Use this guy as leverage and come down. Bridge through that hamstring. The other leg's just staying straight, so it adds a little bit of load on me. If this is challenging, just go uh, both heels down at the same time. Make sure you feel that right here. One more for this side, we'll switch. 10 on each side. Lock that leg above, drive out. One more. Nice job. 
Since I'm already here, I'm just going to slide my chair to the side, and I'm going to do the waves. Move this chair off to the side. Good morning, man. Hands go up underneath. We're going to do a slow fall. As you get to the bottom, right when that lower back starts to arch, drive those knees through, and then up straight up, and then down slow. Here we go, 10. Slow fall, drive through, pop. That's two. This is seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Nice job. It's finally warming up a little bit. Peel off one layer. We're going to go into some bird dogs. That needs to be on your uh, hands and knees. Hands and knees are going to be here. You're going to see that opposite foot from my hand go out. So right hand, left leg. Drive that guy out. Keep your lower back flat to the ground. Big press through. Switching sides. If this is easy, remember you can go up on all fours, get your off your knees, start in that bear position. So here we go. Ten on each side. And that's one. Mix a little physical therapy into their workout today. That's two. Three. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Nice job. Fourth one is going to be a little curtsy lunge. We're going to go from side to side. So get you back upright again. Stay in here. Make sure we're going to get that nice low curtsy. Try not to come too shallow, what I call it, when you're coming too tight because that puts too much torque on the knee. And don't go straight back into a lunge. Once we be that nice little 45. So we're going to go from side to side. Here we go. 20 seconds total, or you can count 10 on each side. Those glutes fire and feel it out here. Good job. Cranking through. Last one for me. And done. All right, back to those chairs. A little 30 second breather. Finish my last sip of coffee. Chaser of water. Here we go. Back on those heels. Remember to hook it and drive down with that hamstring. Ten on each side. Bring it up around 90 degrees. Drive up nice and high. One more, switching sides. Nice job, make those hammies work. You also get the benefits of the bridge, so the glute fires. Healthy for the spine. One more. Nice work. I'm going to slide this chair back. There we go. Get ready for my waves, right? Hands go up underneath. Just to give you a little bridge back there so that lumbar spine stays straight. 
Now you're going to fall, bend those knees through and pop, down slow. There we go. Driving through 10 of these bad boys. This gets me halfway there. Do this for you. Get your core strong. It's the only body you're going to inhabit your whole life. Treat it well. Last one. Woo. Feel that core fire. Back into those bird dogs. Big reach. Remember, you can upgrade by going into there. Up, get the knees up off the ground. There we go. Ten on each side. Opposite hand, opposite foot, so that hand's going to reach up. Point that toe and switch sides. Good work. That's two, going to ten. Two more. Nice job. Back to those curtsy lunge. Boots of steel. Like Tammy Lee Webb when I was a kid. I used to watch those VHSs. Here we go. All the way under. And switch. Nice little flow. Now it's totally Seattle. <laughs> Little alternative action. It's raining again. Oh, that's not what you saying. One more on each side. Nice. 30 seconds off. We'll come back in for a 30 second uh, interval. Get those froggers going. Grab some drink here. Everybody familiar with what a frogger is? That's my segue. If you're not, pay attention to our workout. It's going to come up here. I got eight of my favorite different uh, little hit intervals. You're seeing uh, two of them today. So, it'll be on our YouTube channel, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Progress. Start in like a plank position, I'm trying to get my, my foot all the way up by my hand, like your ribbit, your frog. Hands out in front. Here we go. Whoops, I guess I should face the clock so I know what time it is. 30 seconds. Pop those feet up. Here we go. Pop. Back. Get that full plank. Popping through. This is too much, just step forward and step back. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Nice job. How'd that feel? Wake up your hip flexors. Hope so. Okay, next comes in a little core exercise. If you got dumbbells, you can bring them along. This is a little flying crunch. Really flat on the ground. Making like an accordion. My knees are coming towards me as my torso comes off the ground. I'm basically doing what you see a cable fly in the gyms. Doing that on the ground with a dumbbell. <clears throat> All the way flat. So remember the legs have to be coming forward and then out. I don't know if you can see me that well from there, but hands are out. I like uh, often say when I'm in the gym, act like you're making a can of. If you keep your feet off the ground, it keeps that tension on the core. It doesn't always have to be about heavy weight load. It can be about time under tension. That just means keep the muscle contracted. Nice job. Give yourself a hug.
One more. And there we go. Those are called flying crunches. You can bring little small dumbbells along with you, whether they're like two or fives. Next one, we're gonna kick a little bit of a heart rate up in there. So I'm gonna do a rear lunge, then do a front kick. So we'll do 10 on each leg. So once I'm here, stepping back, get that power, and I'm driving through. When you drive through, try to bring your feet back so you're striking with your heel. So there we go, back, load it, strike. 10 on each. Well, self-defense these days might come in handy. Drive it through. One more. Switch sides. Of course, my little tip is if you are going to kick, kick their knee. Knock their knee out. Easy target for you. Step back. Drive right through their leg. Bang! How do you like me now? For those of us peaceful people, just kick it straight up. One more. Good job. My hamstrings are a little tight. <laughs> okay, here we go. A little side plank. You can be on your elbow or your hand. Up to you, but we're going to touch that hip to the ground and then pop right back up. I always take a small ball and shove that between my two ankles so that when you're lifting up, you have to balance. Is that ball trying to make you go from one side to another? All right, self defense lessons. A little bit of everything physical therapy. Take care of yourself. <laughs> so I'm going to start down low, driving through that heel. I'm going to get that guy off the ground. So I can have here, I can do touches, I can do kick throughs, whatever level you are, just get this guy up off the ground. 10 on each side. Here we go. Drive up. Halfway there. And switching sides. I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see my backside. Drive through the heel, lift up. Three more. And ten. Great work. All right, here comes that backpack or any kind of heavy load you have. We're going to go from a squatted position, definitely a sumo squat, because that externally rotates those hips. Uh, and then you're going to come through for a carry and press. So if I was a barbell lifter, I'm teaching that. Drive through and press. Down so. There we go. Two more. Snap through with those hips. That's what makes it a power cleaner. That's the reason why we build all those strong glutes. Snapping through. Good job. There we go. There's those four. Now we're going to come back through that little flying crunch. Give yourself a hug. Ten of these total. I like to start in that top position so it reminds me to round out that spine and to contract my core as I come together. Start higher. Nice job, crank it through. One more. Cannonball, right? Maddie's gonna be swimming the pool dude soon doing a cannonball. There you go. Good job, baby girl. All right, we got that rear lunge to front kick. So kick that out. You wanna do it with me? Right. Bringing in the talent of the family. I'm gonna wave everybody. I'm that line. <laughs> All right, you stand right there, just inside me, All right? Here, turn sideways so you can see yourself. Where are you? There you are. So watch, we're gonna step back with our right foot 
into a lunge. And then I'm going to kick. Pow! Use your hands out front. Pull through. Pow! There you go. When someone's being naughty to you, honey, you just kick them. Pow! Followed by, how do you like me now? Kick through. Good job. Rear lunge. Kick. Rear lunge. Kick. One more. Good. Switching legs. Left foot goes back into a lunge. Kick. I'm using my hands for balance. See those guys go out front? So when I kick through, I still have that balance to the ankle. Rear lunge. Kick. Kick. Drive through. One more. Good job. This time I'm going to do a little leg kick through. I'm going to get a little more spicy. So drive it through that bottom side leg. Heel has to come down. That's going to give me that power. Drive up and kick through. Down. Ten on each side. Heel. I'm going to be reaching out. You don't have to. You just go straight up and down. Up. Kick. Down. One more. Nice job. Okay, back to that little uh, backpack, power clean. Where am I getting my power from? My glutes, All right? So squat is just straight up and down. I'm gonna go sumo, but what am I doing? Driving that booty back. So that makes the booty gets to come snapping back forward. Kind of like you'd see on a kettlebell swing, right? Little hip hinge. So, pressing up. Snap those hips. Give me 10 good ones. <clears throat> make that your first accomplishment of the day. Probably making your coffee was, but this will be your second one. 10 full reps. Cranking through. <clears throat> one more. Nice job. This song's a little intense for me. It's just a surfer from California. Sounds familiar though. Thought it was cool, I'd know who it was, right? Oh, the white stripes. I should have known. Now we're going to Perfume Genius. No idea. <laughs> Here we go. We are completely through with all of our movements. Let's do back to that big rotation. This time let's do a split squat. I'm gonna rotate through and then rotate out. Swinging in, swinging out. If you got a little dumbbell, you can bring that along. Driving through. Give that spine that little rotation it loves. Most of your uh, muscles run along that spinal column. Switch sides. There you go. My anatomy professor would be proud. Right? Remember Dr. Beam? Hands out to my side. I'm going to reach. Get that little side bend. Get that body to move in as many directions as you can every day. Keep it mobile. Keep it strong. Exercise is great for your mind. <laughs> Maddie's giving me messages on her flip book. <laughs> One more. 
job. All right, everybody, come and do a little cool down here. Lock out those elbows. Sinking back. This stretches out the bicep and the shoulder. I like to add a little twist down there. Listen to my body. For some reason, that lower back is always tight in the morning for me. Lock out those elbows. One more. Sink through. And because we did a lot of glutes and quads, let's cross one leg over the other. Sink down into that guy. Get those glutes to stretch out. So you see that leg's crossed over. This guy's forced in an external rotation position. Stretch out those external rotators out of the glute. Go, switching sides. Last one, and then bring that hand across. Big stretch and reach.